a chupacabra on the beach to the whale carcass that refuse to go away. Here are 11 strange creatures that washed ashore. This is Mystery Mondays. Number 11. Thousands of strange looking critters appeared on a California beach and appeared to look like pink, gelatinous blobs. They washed up on Huntington Beach and locals could not figure out just what the squishy critters wriggling in the sands might be. After pictures were posted to Facebook, guesses ranged from eggs to jellyfish or barrel-shaped planktonic tunicates called salpa. One expert opined that the little gelatinous creatures were actually sea cucumbers. Those marine animals usually live on the ocean floor and have feeding tentacles and tube feet. It's possible that recent storms may have caused the sands to shift, exposing the sea cucumbers. But within a few days, they were all gone. Beaches across California, Oregon, and Washington turn blue thanks to Valella Valella. Thousands of the small jellyfish-like creatures were blown by strong winds toward the shore. The creatures have small sails on the bodies that make them easily buffeted by high winds. The marine critters are also known as purple sails or by-the-wind sailors, and they blanketed beaches with a beautiful blue coloration stacking up to six inches high in some areas. But while they might be pretty to look at, Valella Valella can give off an ugly stench. As the beached creatures start to rot, they emit an odor similar to fish. The good news is they'll disappear within a few days. Valella Valella are hydrozoans related to jellyfish, and while they do carry a mild neurotoxin, they are not considered harmful to humans. In a coastal town over 300 miles south of Santiago, Chile, the beach turned bright red. The cause turned out to be millions of dead shrimp that washed ashore, and locals said they've never seen a disaster of this magnitude. Fishermen claim the shrimp died as the result of the waters being heated by two nearby coal-fired power plants. The heat killed the shrimp, after which they washed onto the beach. Spokespersons for the thermoelectric plants declined to comment directly, but experts say the incident could be investigated as an environmental crime depending upon the evidence gathered. Does it look like these ocean waves are lit with neon blue light? Well, it's due to an effect called bioluminescence. It happens when naturally occurring microorganisms in the water are disturbed. You can see an amazing illustration of the effect in these pictures by Phil Hart. He captured the images at Gippsland Lakes in Victoria, Australia. You can see how the water is a vibrant electric blue as it laps onto the beach. You can even see how the bioluminescence makes the beachgoers seem to glow while they stand in the water. Other pictures appear to show the blue waters emitting sparks from the surface, and that effect was achieved by Mr. Hart throwing sand and stones into the water while the camera was on a slow shutter speed. He said the effects were made possible due to an unusually high concentration of the microorganism Noctiluca scintillans in the water. Some bizarre-looking crabs washed onto the shores of a Chinese beach in 2015. Their appearance caused locals to refer to them as alien crabs. They were spotted by fishermen in the Chandong province of eastern China. The crustaceans have claws that measure around 7 inches long, although their bodies are little more than 2 inches wide. Because of those giant scary claws, the critters are also referred to as iron crabs. Locals say they've never seen this type of crab before, and its species, so far as we could tell, was still unidentified. But one clue to their identity might be found in the creature's pointy shell, which is covered with bumps and knobs. Because the size of the crab's body was disproportionate to the size of its claws, its appearance was thought to resemble that alien in Predator. You can't seem to get away from the chupacabra, even if you go to the beach. A bizarre creature that measured around two feet long and had giant fangs, sun-bleached skin, and even a blonde mohawk was found on a beach in San Diego, apparently having been washed ashore. Josh Menard, the 19-year-old who found the creature and took pictures of it, says, it's the legendary goat sucker itself. You can see the hairless beast as it lies on the beach wrapped up in seaweed and does expose some fearsome looking canines. Locals took to calling the creature the San Diego Demonoid, among other creative sobriquets. What would you call it?
a blue dragon washed up on the shores of a Gold Coast beach in Australia. Well, that's actually the nickname for this critter. It's really a sea slug known formally as Glaucus atlanticus. It was caught on video wriggling in the sand, and although its neon blue coloring might seem like something from out of this world, it actually lives in tropical waters stretching from South Africa to Australia. The rare marine animal measures about three to four centimeters long and is known to prey on the Portuguese man of war, a venomous siphon for. Thanks to that diet, the blue dragon can impart a sting to humans that can be quite painful and potentially deadly. Mabula rays are related to manta rays and closely resemble them, measuring around 17 feet wide and weighing nearly 170 pounds. They were seen for the first time in six years when dozens of them washed ashore a beach in Gaza City in Palestine. Marine experts said they couldn't explain the animal's behavior. Mass strandings like this have never before been observed. Speculation includes that electrical signals or underwater noises may have disoriented the creatures and driven them from from the sea. The rays were noted to have blood on the pectoral fins, or wings as they're known. It's unknown whether that condition is the result of the animals slapping against something like boats, rocks, or even each other. Fishermen later gathered the rays and carted them to local markets. This picture by Frederick J. Brown shows the carcass of a 46-foot humpback whale that washed ashore on Dockweiler Beach in Los Angeles. As it sat in the sun, the decomposing mammal gave off a foul stench, prompting authorities to remove it from the popular beach. The bulldozer seen approaching the animal was intended to help push it back into the ocean, but that effort failed. After identifying the 22-ton whale in a database, it turned out to be a celebrity mammal known as Wally, who was actually a female. She was featured in a series of viral videos which showed her rising from the water's surface and exhaling mist from a blowhole, which, caught in sunlight, appeared like a rainbow. Well, later, boats pulled Wally from the beach and took her far out to sea. But that was not the end of the story, because Wally's rotting carcass kept floating back to Southern California beaches and was towed back to sea for at least a half dozen times after that. Wildlife officials at Encinitas Beach finally cut the carcass up and took it to a San Diego landfill, where Wally now rests in pieces. Have you ever heard of Siamese gray whales? While conjoined twins have been known to occur in species like fin whales and minke whales, the world's first ever case of conjoined gray whales was documented in 2014. The creatures were found dead in a lagoon off the coast of Mexico. Experts said the calves appeared to be severely underdeveloped, measuring only about 7 feet long. Newborn gray whales normally measure around 12 to 16 feet long. Due to the disability, the whales were thought to have been miscarried. It's unknown whether the mother may have survived the birth or stillbirth. Scientists collected the twins' carcass for further study. Some beachgoers in Florida really got an eyeful when they discovered an immense eyeball that washed a short Pompano Beach. The giant blue eye was about the size of a softball and appeared to be fully intact. After pictures of the mysterious orb were posted online, there was a lot of speculation as to what kind of creature the organ once belonged to. Scientists may have found the answer. Based upon the size, structure, and color of the eyeball, it's thought to have belonged to a swordfish. Experts say the creatures are commonly fished off the shore of South Florida. It's thought that a fisherman may have cut out and discarded the eye after catching the animal. Wildlife experts won't be able to officially confirm the eyeball's previous owner until making a genetic analysis. We'll keep an eye out for further details. This is Mystery Mondays.